What's up, everyone, and welcome to the 14th episode of the 1K Show. Today we're doing Read Remastered. Uh, we're going to try to do something a little different today, and that's start with the missable achievements. That way people that are just here to find the missable achievements can get to that information faster, and people that wanted to a playthrough of their own without seeing a walkthrough, uh, but still complete it in one run, they can get that information, make sure they don't miss anything, and get that game done as fast as possible with no help. Our first missable achievement is on level 8. Any level you see there with the question mark has a secret. So for this one, we just want to double jump over to the right and get that little spinning tiny cube. So those are the secrets. So if you don't get through all the way through this uh, video, you can at least tell that that's what your secrets are going to look like. There's a total of four secret uh, areas. So those are the, your missable achievements. Other than that, the achievement list is basically just to get to level 44. There's also meeting a mouse and getting killed by a chicken, though the meeting the mouse is uh, pretty unmissable because they place one of the objectives that you need to grab uh, right beside the mouse. The second secret area is in level 19. And you're going to want to drop down here and just walk over to the right. Grab that cube, shape it on moth, head through the door. Now it's time for our third missable area, and we're going to head back to the main menu, go to level 27. Run past this chicken, jump up top, don't grab the orange cube, and jump over to the top left here to grab your third missable achievement. Our final missable achievement is going to be on level 40. Our goal here is to cross the gap and jump up here for the final missable achievement, final secret area, and now let's get into the full guide of the game. If you enjoyed the layout of this uh, full guide, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll make it happen again in the future. This game is pretty basic, all it features is the ability to double jump and a camera that will really screw you over a ton. The camera in this game is not great, uh, it shifts very sporadically and is going to be your ultimate biggest challenge. You will need to complete 44 levels in this game to get all the achievements plus the uh, secret four areas and get killed by a chicken as well as find the mouse. Now, all of these are pretty easy, other than obviously the missable, more missable achievements, which is the secret areas, but we've already covered that in the beginning of this episode. Pretty basic game, just find the orange cube, walk through the door, that counts as a completed level. You'll need to do that 44 times, uh, and then you've got your achievements. Oh, and yes, there is also an achievement for dying your first time. And from this point on, we're going to edit out our deaths so that you can get through this video as quickly as possible. Because when it comes down to it, uh, the more you have to watch a video as a guide, really, that's tacking on to how long you have to play the game. This may only be a 30 minute game to complete, but if you're watching a video for 30 minutes as well, then really, it took you an hour of your time. Another thing you can do that makes this game slightly easier is to head back to the main menu and turn off screen shake. It's uh, quite annoying when you're already battling with the camera. If you missed it in the description, this game is $5 on the Xbox Marketplace as well as the PlayStation uh, Store, and it takes roughly 30 minutes to complete, give or take 10 minutes. There is these kind of background lanterns, as you see, that just lit up there. Uh, they will activate kind of a platform for you, but that platform will only stay active for a very limited time. And the countdown begins as soon as you activate it. So even if you stay in the area of the torch, it continues the countdown anyways. To reset the torch after, you just have to move away and then move back into its position. Here you can also get the uh, get killed by a chicken achievement, aggressive bird, uh, just simply, you know, let them run into you. You can also jump on the chicken's heads, which will uh, temporarily disable them and allowing you to get past them. It also will make it so that uh, your character doesn't take contact damage from them.
Here we have the addition of arrow launchers when you see the launcher kind of turn. Uh, that initiates that it's about to shoot the arrow. They don't all have the same firing speed, they vary depending on the level and layout. This level here is probably going to be your first big battle with the uh, camera problems in this game. Uh, just because the arrow launchers here that will cause you to want to run back and forward. Uh, you gotta time it so that you can not have to turn around because the swap of the the sporadic swap of the screen will really just throw you right off the edge every single time. On this level if you're quick enough you can slide down real fast, grab the cube, and make your way back up. From here on out, the game doesn't offer much in new mechanics, nor sending difficulty, so that's pretty well going to diminish the rest of my commentary. But of course, we'll chat what we need to about uh, any achievements or any areas that I thought, you know, you might need a trick or anything to help you get past it. So if an achievement is popped, I don't always uh, edit out the death. Sometimes I leave it on screen just so that you're aware that there is an achievement at this point in the game. Even if it is just, you know, story progression and you can't miss the achievement. It's just nice to know, hey, at this point, I should unlock this achievement. So that if it doesn't unlock, you can, uh, you know, go find out why. As you know, unfortunately, sometimes we have to deal with achievements and trophies just not unlocking no matter what we do. And, uh... That at least lets you know, maybe I should stop playing right now until they patch it. On the next level, we'll be finding the mouse to get that achievement. So we're going to be wanting to go to the bottom left corner over here. Which you can't really miss because of the orange cube. So there's found a friend. If you're really quick at the start of this level, you can sneak past this first fan, but uh, if you're not a maniac that has no patience like me, you can just wait until it passes and then sneak by it afterward. This part here has a pretty difficult timing uh, to it, but uh, I don't really have any advice to offer for you. It's kind of a little bit luck-based. You listen to it, maybe you can figure it out, but you can't really pan the screen. So you can't really see what they're doing or which ones are even triggering that sound at that moment. So the 1k show is going to be going on a two week hiatus just so that uh, we can kind of recuperate our funds. Like, you know, each of these games at least cost $5 each and uh, that's kind of financially weighing on us a little bit uh, because we're not receiving funds from YouTube just quite yet. Um, and then also, these games are, you know, super enjoyable, and uh, I'd like to just take a little mental break from them, let the library recuperate, and then get back into bringing you easy achievements slash trophy guides. There's also a lot of Let's Plays that we've been uh, wanting to do or finish, like we've got a lot of series on the go right now. Um, so just, you know, I haven't really gotten to play what I want to play. Uh, in quite some time and so just this little break so that I can come back to it and when we do come back from hiatus uh, you know I'm gonna come back with a 10 to 12 game plan and you know drop lots of 1k episodes you know the other thing too is as the uh, as these kind of weigh on me the content suffers as well because I'm not uh, you know into it as much but don't worry, that doesn't mean we're going to be neglecting our Achievement Slash Trophy Hunter fans. Uh, check out our Twitter page, and we'll be trying to update and uh, give you a list of games that you can check out to get easy gamer score that are still cheap, that still fall under the 1K category, but we just didn't film because, you know, maybe they were just too too easy, or there was just nothing to, you know, nothing to guide you on, so there was no content. But with that out of the way, let's get these achievements and get this game off our hard drive. Just be careful at the next drop down, there's a nasty spike down here, right there. You want to avoid that one.
get up to the exit here you're gonna have to be really fast after activating the torch and uh, a lot of the time the double jump just won't activate and or will just be really pathetic of a double jump with the completion of this level you'll now have 35 levels complete this level would be giving you an achievement as soon as you enter it I just edited it out because it was a long-winded death So you can bypass this first platform, which is really dangerous, by just anticipating that platform being at its lowest point, which will then connect you to the platform that I landed on. Here's the final level, and there's a little trick to this level. If you can jump up here and then just kind of hover right on the edge of this platform, you can better time it against the spinning blade fan looking things. And that's it. All 16 achievements. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Happy hunting. Hey there, if you like this video, click the sleeping cat on the left. If you're an achievement slash trophy hunter, click this cat on the top right. And if you're new to this channel, click the sticking out leg to subscribe.